So today I think I'm going to uh, work on the fuselage, or the very, very beginnings of it. Um, I've had two tables in the shop as of now, which may, has made it really nice to move, maneuver around the shop to in the garage to work on this. You know, with the smaller pieces, the rudder, vertical stab, horizontal stab, elevators, etc. So I built these two tables separately. And they're the same height, so, uh, but I only have about 155 inches if you combine the two. And what I need for the fuselage is 175, uh, three and change, so I want 180 inches, basically. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repurpose my jig from, uh, the right side of the horizontal stab there, Jake. I'm gonna pull those blocks up. I'm gonna cut a two foot by three foot section. And then on the ends of these two tables, I'm gonna lay a support across the top. Uh, I'm gonna put a stiffener underneath the MDF for any, any sag, probably three stiffeners, one on the end, the middle, and the other end. And it's two feet wide by three feet across. And that should effectively turn that table into one big long table. So I can start uh, working on the fuselage. Uh, the wood is here for the wings and the fuselage. See the spars down there. Plywood over there. The ribs are up there. The horizontal stab is done. It's up there. The rudder, vertical uh, stabilizer. Elevators are hanging up there. Uh, I've heard a friend's welder. I've been practicing some uh, welding. I'm not sure yet the route I'm taking with that, whether or not I'm going to uh, do any of the welding myself. We'll see. This is just piece was just murdered by me, but that's not going on the plane at all, just for practice. This one came out pretty nice. It's not welded yet. Um, so I've got a lot of practice to do. I'm definitely not gonna touch the landing gear. That's gonna be done by a professional who knows what the heck they're doing. So gonna, I'll do a little quick after video on how this turns out with this gap. I'm going to move the tools off of this table, clean up that side, and put the bandsaw and the sander on that side. Probably tuck away the back. I might leave the back there. I'm not sure. But that's what I'm doing today. All right, so it's done. Um, I cleared off the tables a little bit. So I put this uh, main support here going across it's uh, I believe it's a inch and a quarter by around an inch and an eighth uh, and then as well on this side I put some stop blocks here so the piece can't slide laterally and there's the final piece cut from the jig from the MDF I put some uh, stiffeners on the ends to prevent from bowing down this isn't a big huge piece so it shouldn't have any issues and uh, let me pick it up. And I think I can do this one handed. I'm just gonna go here, like that. She fits on great. And then I'll put like maybe a, um, well, it's great because I could just lift it off when I need it to get through this work area. But eventually the fuselage is gonna be laid up on this table now. So here it is, um, 183 inches. The vise is fine here still, because I'm gonna build the nose, the front end up here, and as it comes back, it tapers up obviously to a, a smaller cross section, and that clears the vise just fine, because it's only, by the time it reaches here, it's only 16 inches deep. So, uh, tall if you will. So I'm very happy with it, it came out great. 
stuff it up and off. Highly recommend building two pieces like that. It worked. It just worked out great because I had room to move when I was building the smaller pieces, and now I'm able to build one very big piece. 